Welcome to Dr. Shadows, your gateway to the eerie and mysterious. I'm your guide through tales that blur the line between reality and nightmare. Subscribe, hit the bell, and let the haunting narratives begin. I am Dr. Shadows, where shadows have stories to tell. The day hung heavy with the promise of rain as Emily Hartley sat at her cluttered desk, the dim light of her desk lamp casting long shadows across the worn wooden surface. Papers were strewn about haphazardly, each one a piece of a puzzle she was desperate to solve. As an investigative journalist, Emily thrived on uncovering the truth, no matter how dark or elusive it may be. The faint sound of footsteps echoed in the hallway outside her apartment, pulling Emily from her thoughts. With a furrowed brow, she rose from her chair and crossed the room to the door, heart pounding with anticipation. Who could be calling at this hour, and what news could they possibly bring? As she swung open the door, a gust of wind rushed in, carrying with it a single envelope fluttering to the floor at her feet. Emily bent down to retrieve it, fingers trembling as she tore open the seal. Inside was a letter, written in elegant script that seemed to dance across the page. Dear Miss Hartley, it began, you are cordially invited to investigate the mysteries of the Blackwood Mansion. Your reputation as a seeker of truth precedes you, and I believe you are uniquely qualified to uncover the secrets that lie hidden within its walls. Meet me at the mansion at midnight on the night of the full moon, and all will be revealed. Emily's pulse quickened as she read the words, her mind racing with possibilities. The Blackwood Mansion was legendary in its infamy, a crumbling relic of a bygone era nestled deep within the heart of the forest. Stories of hauntings and curses had long surrounded the mansion, but no one had dared to venture inside in decades. Could this be her chance to finally uncover the truth behind the legends? With a sense of determination burning in her chest, Emily made her decision. She would accept the invitation and embark on this journey into the unknown, whatever the cost may be. As the clock struck midnight, Emily found herself standing before the imposing gates of the Blackwood Mansion, the full moon casting an ethereal glow upon its weathered stone facade. The air was thick with anticipation, every sense alert to the slightest hint of danger lurking in the shadows. With a steadying breath, Emily pushed open the gates and stepped into the darkness beyond, the echoes of her footsteps the only sound in the still night air. Little did she know that her decision to accept the invitation would plunge her into a world of darkness and terror beyond her wildest nightmares. The moon hung low in the sky, casting a pallid glow over the sprawling expanse of the Blackwood Estate. Emily's footsteps echoed softly on the gravel path as she approached the mansion's looming silhouette. Tall, gnarled trees loomed on either side, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers grasping for the heavens. As Emily drew closer, the mansion came into view, its once grand facade now weathered and worn by the passage of time. Ivy crept up the crumbling walls, weaving a tapestry of decay that seemed to whisper tales of long-forgotten secrets. A shiver ran down Emily's spine as she crossed the threshold, the air heavy with the weight of centuries-old mysteries. The grand foyer stretched out before her, dimly lit by flickering candles that cast dancing shadows on the walls. Welcome to Blackwood Manor, a voice rasped from the darkness, causing Emily to startle. She turned to see a figure emerge from the shadows, the dim light revealing the weathered features of an elderly man clad in threadbare clothing. I'm Edward, the groundskeeper said, his voice tinged with a hint of warning. You shouldn't be here, Miss Hartley. This place is cursed. Emily's curiosity peaked at the mention of a curse, but she brushed off the warning with a nervous laugh. I'm just here to investigate, she replied, flashing a reassuring smile. I'll be fine. Edward's gaze lingered on her for a moment longer before he nodded, a resigned look crossing his features. Very well, but don't say I didn't warn you, he muttered before disappearing back into the darkness. Alone once more, Emily took a deep breath and forged ahead, her footsteps echoing in the empty halls. 
she wandered through the mansion, her heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The rooms were filled with relics of a bygone era, antique furniture draped in dusty sheets, faded portraits of long-dead ancestors, and ornate chandeliers that hung like specters from the ceiling. Each corner seemed to hold a secret, each shadow concealing a whisper of the past. A lost in her exploration, Emily failed to notice the subtle changes in the atmosphere, the soft creak of floorboards beneath her feet, the faint rustle of curtains stirred by an unseen breeze. It wasn't until she reached the end of a long hallway that she felt a chill run down her spine. Turning a corner, Emily came face to face with a portrait hanging on the wall, a woman with piercing eyes and a hauntingly familiar smile. Lady Evelyn Blackwood, the mistress of the mansion, stared back at her with an intensity that sent a shiver down Emily's spine. For a moment, Emily could swear she saw the portrait's lips move, as if whispering secrets long forgotten. But when she blinked, the illusion vanished, leaving her alone once more in the oppressive silence of the mansion. With a shake of her head, Emily pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the mansion's dark history. Little did she know that the shadows lurking within its walls held secrets far more sinister than she could have ever imagined. As Emily's footsteps echoed through the dimly lit corridor, the musty scent of aged paper hung heavy in the air. Moonlight filtered through dusty windows, casting elongated shadows that danced along the walls like restless spirits. With each step, the floorboards creaked beneath her weight, as if protesting her intrusion into the mansion's forgotten past. Emily's fingers trailed along the peeling wallpaper, her heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. She had always been drawn to mysteries, but the secrets hidden within the Blackwood Mansion seemed to call out to her with an irresistible allure. Entering a grand chamber, Emily's eyes widened as they fell upon an ornate writing desk nestled in the corner. Papers and parchments lay scattered haphazardly, their edges yellowed with age. With cautious reverence, she picked up a crumbling journal, its leather cover cracked and weathered. The journal belonged to Lady Evelyn Blackwood, its pages filled with faded ink and trembling script. As Emily turned the fragile pages, she found herself transported back in time to an era of opulence and intrigue. Lady Evelyn's words revealed a world of forbidden desires and dark secrets, hinting at a tragedy that had unfolded within the mansion's walls. Tales of forbidden love and betrayal intertwined with whispers of arcane rituals and unspeakable horrors, painting a portrait of a woman consumed by madness and obsession. But Emily was undeterred. With each revelation, her determination only grew stronger, fueled by a thirst for knowledge and a desire to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. As she continued to sift through the pages of Lady Evelyn's journal, Emily knew that she was on the brink of a discovery that could change everything. But little did she realize that the shadows lurking in the corners of the room were not merely figments of her imagination. They were harbingers of a darkness that threatened to consume her soul. With trembling hands, Emily closed the journal, its secrets etched into her mind like a curse. For she knew that the deeper she delved into the mysteries of the Blackwood Mansion, the closer she would come to unlocking the truth and unleashing the horrors that lay hidden within. As Emily delved deeper into the mysteries of the mansion, a palpable sense of unease settled over her. The air grew thick with the weight of centuries-old secrets, and shadows seemed to dance in the corners of her vision, taunting her with their elusive presence. She couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched, that unseen eyes followed her every move. In the dim light of the mansion's grand foyer, Emily's footsteps echoed eerily against the marble floors. She hesitated, her heart pounding in her chest as she approached the staircase leading to the upper floors. Each step seemed to creak with the weight of the mansion's history, and she couldn't shake the feeling that she was not alone. Suddenly, a chill wind swept through the foyer, extinguishing the flickering candles that lined the walls. Emily shivered, 
wrapping her arms around herself for warmth, but the chill seemed to penetrate her very bones. She glanced around, her senses on high alert as a sense of dread washed over her. Then she saw it, a figure standing at the top of the staircase, bathed in the faint moonlight filtering through the stained glass windows. It was a woman, her features obscured by shadows, but Emily could feel the weight of her gaze bearing down on her like a tangible presence. Who's there? Emily called out, her voice trembling with fear. There was no response, only the sound of footsteps echoing through the empty halls. Emily's heart raced as she took a cautious step forward, her eyes fixed on the figure at the top of the staircase. Suddenly, the figure moved, descending the staircase with an ethereal grace that sent shivers down Emily's spine. As it drew nearer, Emily could make out the faint outline of a woman dressed in a flowing gown, her hair cascading around her like a veil. Please leave this place, the woman whispered, her voice echoing with an otherworldly resonance. You do not belong here. Emily's breath caught in her throat as she watched the apparition draw closer, her mind reeling with fear and disbelief. She wanted to run, to flee from this haunted place and never look back, but something held her rooted to the spot, unable to tear her eyes away from the ghostly figure before her. And then, as suddenly as it had appeared, the apparition vanished into thin air, leaving Emily alone in the darkness of the mansion's foyer. Trembling, she sank to her knees, her pulse racing as she struggled to make sense of what she had just witnessed. But deep down, she knew that there was no rational explanation for the supernatural forces that lurked within the mansion's walls. And as she gazed up at the staircase, she knew that her journey into the heart of darkness was only just beginning. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she stood alone in the dimly lit hallway of the mansion, her breath coming in short, ragged gasps. Shadows danced on the walls, twisting and contorting as if alive with malevolent intent. She could feel the weight of centuries pressing down on her, the whispers of the past echoing in her ears like a haunting melody. With trembling hands, Emily reached out to push open the heavy door at the end of the hallway. It creaked open on rusted hinges, revealing a chamber bathed in an eerie blue light. A figure stood at the center of the room, her form translucent and ethereal. Lady Evelyn, Emily whispered, her voice barely more than a breath. The spirit turned to face her, her eyes filled with sorrow and longing. You have trespassed upon my domain. Lady Evelyn's voice echoed through the chamber, carrying the weight of centuries of bitterness and regret. What do you seek, mortal? Emily swallowed hard, summoning all her courage as she stepped forward into the room. I seek the truth, she replied, her voice steady despite the fear gnawing at her insides. I seek to understand the darkness that haunts this place. Lady Evelyn's spectral form shimmered in the dim light, her features contorted with anger and grief. You know nothing of darkness, she spat, her voice dripping with venom. You know nothing of the pain and suffering that has plagued this mansion for centuries. Emily felt a chill run down her spine as Lady Evelyn's words washed over her. She knew she was in the presence of something ancient and powerful, something far beyond her understanding. But she refused to back down, refusing to let fear dictate her actions. I may not know your pain, Emily said, her voice steady despite the tremble in her limbs. But I know that you are trapped here, consumed by your own rage and despair. I want to help you find peace, Lady Evelyn. I want to help you break free from this curse that binds you to this place. For a moment, there was silence in the chamber, broken only by the soft whisper of the wind outside. Then, slowly, Lady Evelyn's expression softened, her features filled with a mix of hope and disbelief. You would help me? She asked, her voice barely more than a whisper. After all that has transpired, after all the pain I have caused. Emily nodded, her heart pounding in her chest. I would, she said, her voice filled with determination. But I need your help in return. I need to know how to break the curse that binds you to this place. 
Lady Evelyn hesitated for a moment, her gaze fixed on Emily's face as if searching for some hidden truth. Then slowly she nodded, her form shimmering in the dim light. There is a way, she said, her voice barely more than a whisper. But it will require great sacrifice. Are you prepared to pay the price, mortal? Emily hesitated for only a moment before nodding, her resolve unwavering. I am, she said, her voice filled with conviction. Whatever it takes, I will do it. And with those words, Emily sealed her fate, plunging herself deeper into the darkness that lurked within the mansion's walls. But little did she know that the true horror had only just begun. The ticking of the grandfather clock echoed through the dimly lit corridor, each chime serving as a grim reminder of the dwindling time Emily had left. Her heart pounded in her chest, matching the rhythm of the pendulum swinging ominously back and forth. She clutched the flickering lantern tightly, its feeble light casting long, twisting shadows that seemed to dance mockingly along the walls. With every step, Emily's sense of urgency grew. The mansion seemed to conspire against her, its ancient walls closing in as if to suffocate her in their embrace. Yet she pressed on, driven by a determination born of desperation. The clues she had uncovered led her to the heart of the mansion, a chamber hidden from prying eyes for centuries. As she approached the ornate door rumored to guard its secrets, a chill ran down her spine, sending shivers cascading along her skin. With trembling hands, Emily pushed open the door, revealing a chamber bathed in an ethereal glow. Ancient tapestries adorned the walls, their faded colors telling tales of a bygone era. In the center of the room stood an altar, its surface etched with arcane symbols that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. Emily's breath caught in her throat as she realized the gravity of her discovery. This chamber held the key to breaking the mansion's curse, but it also held untold dangers. She knew that performing the ritual was her only hope of escape, but at what cost? As she approached the altar, a sense of dread washed over her, threatening to consume her resolve. Yet she forced herself to push aside her fear, drawing upon the strength that had carried her this far. With steady hands, she began to prepare the ritual, each movement deliberate and precise. The air crackled with tension as Emily spoke the ancient incantations, her voice trembling but unwavering. With each word, the room seemed to pulse with a dark energy, swirling around her like a tempest poised to consume everything in its path. Suddenly, the chamber was filled with a blinding light, illuminating the darkness that had cloaked the mansion for centuries. Emily shielded her eyes against the brilliance, her heart pounding in her chest as she braced herself for what was to come. And then, as quickly as it had begun, the light faded, leaving behind an eerie silence that seemed to reverberate through the chamber. Emily opened her eyes cautiously, half expecting to find herself trapped in the clutches of some unspeakable horror. But to her astonishment, the chamber was empty, save for the faint echo of her own heartbeat. The curse had been broken, the spirits banished to the shadows from whence they came. With a weary sigh, Emily collapsed to her knees, the weight of her ordeal finally lifting from her shoulders. She had faced her darkest fears and emerged victorious, but she knew that the battle was far from over. As she made her way back through the labyrinthine corridors of the mansion, a sense of unease lingered in the air, a reminder of the horrors she had witnessed. But amidst the darkness, there was also a glimmer of hope, a promise of a brighter future free from the shackles of the past. And so, with determination in her heart and the flickering lantern as her guide, Emily stepped out into the moonlit night, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead. For she knew that as long as she held onto the light within, no darkness could ever truly defeat her. The air in the hidden chamber was thick with the weight of centuries, as if the very walls held their breath in anticipation of Emily's arrival. Candlelight flickered against the ancient stone, casting dancing shadows that seemed to whisper secrets long forgotten. Emily stood at the threshold, her heart pounding in her chest as she hesitated to cross the threshold into the chamber. 
The air felt charged with a strange energy, sending shivers down her spine as she took a tentative step forward. As she entered the chamber, Emily's eyes widened in awe at the sight before her. The room was filled with artifacts of a bygone era, their surfaces covered in dust and cobwebs, as if time itself had forgotten this hidden sanctuary. In the center of the chamber stood a pedestal, upon which rested a weathered tome bound in cracked leather. Emily approached with cautious reverence, her fingers trembling as she reached out to touch the ancient book. The pages were yellowed with age, their edges frayed and brittle beneath her touch. She turned to the first page, her breath catching in her throat as she read the faded text inscribed upon the parchment. It spoke of a ritual, a ritual that could banish the spirits from the mansion and bring an end to the curse that had plagued it for centuries. But as Emily read on, she realized that the ritual came with a price, a price that she may not be willing to pay. Her hands shook as she closed the book, the weight of its words settling heavily upon her shoulders. She knew that performing the ritual would unleash dark forces beyond her comprehension, but she also knew that it was the only way to save herself and break free from the mansion's grip. With a resolve born of desperation, Emily took a deep breath and reached for the artifacts scattered about the chamber. She gathered them to her each one pulsing with a strange energy that seemed to thrum in time with her own heartbeat. As she prepared to perform the ritual, Emily felt a chill run down her spine, as if the very fabric of reality was unraveling around her. But she pushed aside her fear, focusing instead on the task at hand and the hope that it offered for salvation. With a trembling hand, Emily began to chant the words of the ritual, each syllable echoing through the chamber like a tolling bell. The air grew thick with power, swirling around her in a maelstrom of darkness and light. And then, with a final desperate cry, Emily unleashed the full force of the ritual, unleashing a torrent of energy that engulfed her in its embrace. She felt herself being pulled into the heart of the storm, her senses overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of the power she had unleashed. And as the darkness consumed her, Emily knew that she had taken the first step on a journey that would lead her to the very brink of madness, or perhaps to the salvation she so desperately sought. With Chapter 7, the story takes a pivotal turn as Emily confronts the means to break the mansion's curse. The Chamber of Secrets offers hope, but at a great cost. Emily's determination and the mounting tension create a sense of urgency that propels the narrative forward, drawing readers deeper into the heart of darkness. The air in the hidden chamber hung heavy with the weight of centuries-old secrets, suffused with the scent of decay and the faint whisper of spectral voices. Emily stood at the threshold, her heart pounding in her chest as she gazed into the dimly lit chamber before her. Shadows danced along the walls, twisting and contorting in an eerie semblance of life. With a deep breath, Emily stepped forward, her footsteps echoing off the ancient stone floor. The chamber seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy, a palpable sense of dread that clung to her skin like a shroud. She knew that she had to confront Lady Evelyn's spirit, to strike a bargain that would free them both from the mansion's curse. As she moved further into the chamber, Emily's eyes were drawn to a figure standing in the center of the room. Lady Evelyn Blackwood, her ghostly form flickering in and out of existence, regarded Emily with eyes that burned with an otherworldly fire. You dare to enter my domain, mortal? Lady Evelyn's voice echoed through the chamber, sending shivers down Emily's spine. What do you seek here? Emily squared her shoulders, steeling herself against the overwhelming sense of dread that threatened to consume her. I seek to end the suffering of both the living and the dead, she replied, her voice steady despite the fear that gnawed at her insides. I offer you a chance at peace, Lady Evelyn, if you will agree to release your hold on this place. Lady Evelyn's spectral form seemed to waver for a moment, her eyes narrowing as she regarded Emily with a mixture of curiosity and disdain. And what do you propose, mortal? she asked, her voice dripping with contempt. What could you possibly offer me that would tempt me to relinquish my vengeance? 
Emily took a step forward, meeting Lady Evelyn's gaze with unwavering resolve. I offer you a chance to find redemption, she said, her words ringing out in the stillness of the chamber. I offer you a path to forgiveness, a chance to break free from the chains of your past and find peace in the afterlife. For a moment, there was silence in the chamber, broken only by the faint sound of Emily's heartbeat echoing in her ears. Then, slowly, Lady Evelyn began to speak, her voice softening with each word. You speak of redemption, she said, her tone tinged with longing. But do you truly believe it is possible for one such as me? Do you believe that I can ever be forgiven for the sins I have committed? Emily reached out a hand, her fingers trembling slightly as they brushed against the cold, ethereal form of Lady Evelyn. I believe that everyone deserves a chance at redemption, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. Even those who have been consumed by darkness. As Emily spoke, she felt a surge of energy coursing through her, a glimmer of hope amidst the shadows that threatened to engulf her. She knew that she was gambling everything on this one chance to break the curse that had plagued the mansion for centuries, but she also knew that it was a risk worth taking. And so, in the dim light of the hidden chamber, Emily and Lady Evelyn forged a pact, a fragile alliance born of desperation and hope. Together, they would confront the darkness that lurked within the mansion's walls, facing their fears and embracing the possibility of redemption. But little did they know that their bargain would unleash forces far more sinister than they could have ever imagined, setting into motion a chain of events that would test the limits of their courage and resolve. And as they stood on the brink of a new beginning, they knew that the true battle was only just beginning. Emily's heart pounded like a drumbeat echoing through the cavernous halls of the mansion. She stood before the ancient altar in the hidden chamber, the flickering candlelight casting eerie shadows on the walls. The air crackled with tension, thick with the weight of centuries-old secrets and the malevolent energy that permeated the room. With trembling hands, Emily began to chant the incantation she had uncovered in the dusty pages of an old grimoire. The words flowed from her lips like a prayer to the abyss, invoking powers beyond her comprehension. As she spoke, the very air seemed to hum with arcane energy, swirling around her in a vortex of darkness. But with each syllable uttered, Emily felt the oppressive weight of the mansion's curse pressing down upon her, threatening to crush her spirit. Shadows danced in the corners of her vision, whispering sinister secrets and tempting her with promises of power beyond imagination. As the ritual reached its climax, Emily's senses were overwhelmed by a cacophony of sound and sensation. The air grew thick with the scent of decay, and the temperature plummeted until she could see her breath misting before her eyes. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp and twist around her, bending to the will of the dark forces she had unleashed. But amidst the chaos, Emily clung to a flicker of hope, a glimmer of light in the suffocating darkness. With every ounce of her will, she focused on her goal, channeling her fear and desperation into a beacon of resolve. She knew that failure was not an option, that the fate of both herself and the mansion hung in the balance. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the ritual reached its climax. Emily's entire being seemed to tremble with the force of the unleashed energy, her very soul laid bare before the abyss. For a moment that stretched into eternity, she teetered on the precipice between salvation and damnation, unsure of what lay on the other side. But then, as suddenly as it had begun, the darkness receded, dissipating like fog beneath the morning sun. Emily collapsed to her knees, gasping for breath as she stared up at the ceiling with wide, disbelieving eyes. The air was still, the shadows silent, as if the very mansion itself held its breath in anticipation of what was to come. And then, slowly but surely, Emily felt a sense of peace wash over her, a calmness born of the knowledge that she had succeeded where so many others had failed. The curse had been broken, the spirits laid to rest, and the mansion's dark legacy finally put to rest. But even as she savored the sweet taste of victory, 
Emily knew that her journey was far from over. For though the shadows may have retreated for now, she understood that they would always linger, waiting for the opportunity to rise again and reclaim their hold over the world of the living. And as she rose to her feet, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead, Emily knew that she would never again be the same. For she had stared into the heart of darkness and emerged unscathed, a survivor in a world where few dared to tread. The air in the chamber was heavy with the scent of ancient decay, mingled with the acrid tang of magic. Emily stood at the center, her heart pounding in her chest as she faced the embodiment of the mansion's malevolence. Before her loomed a swirling vortex of darkness, an abyss that seemed to devour all light and hope. Within its depths writhed the shadowy form of Lady Evelyn Blackwood, her eyes blazing with hatred and despair. Emily's hands trembled as she gripped the ancient tome that contained the ritual to break the mansion's curse. She knew that this was her only chance to free herself and the tortured spirits trapped within these walls. Enough games, Emily! Lady Evelyn's voice echoed through the chamber, cold and mocking. You cannot hope to defeat me. I am the darkness that resides in every corner of this cursed place. But Emily refused to back down. With a steely resolve, she began to recite the incantation, her voice ringing out clear and strong against the oppressive silence. As the words spilled from her lips, the chamber began to tremble, and the shadows recoiled as if in agony. Emily could feel the power coursing through her, a primal force that threatened to consume her from within. But she pressed on, her eyes locked with Lady Evelyn's, her will unyielding. With each syllable, the darkness began to recede, the vortex shrinking until it was nothing more than a flickering wisp of smoke. And then, with a final burst of light, the curse was broken. The mansion shook with the force of the release, and Emily felt herself lifted from the ground as if by unseen hands. When she opened her eyes, she found herself standing outside the mansion, bathed in the soft glow of dawn. The air was cool and refreshing, the forest alive with the sound of birdsong. But as she looked back at the mansion, she knew that the darkness had not been banished entirely. It lingered still, a shadowy specter haunting the halls and corridors, a reminder of the horrors that had taken place within. And yet, there was hope. For Emily knew that she had faced the darkness and emerged victorious. She had found redemption in the face of damnation, and in doing so, had set both herself and the spirits of the mansion free. As she turned away from the mansion, ready to leave its secrets behind forever, she felt a sense of peace wash over her. The journey had been long and perilous, but in the end she had emerged stronger than before. And though the memory of the mansion would always linger in her mind, she knew that she was finally free to embrace the light and leave the darkness behind. As the shadows fade, thank you for venturing into the unknown with Dr. Shadows. Until next time, stay haunted. Like, share, and subscribe for more chilling tales. This is Dr. Shadows, signing off.